Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to analyze the overhanging beam to find out the support reactions and to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for this overhanging beam. We can see here that there is a 3 kN per meter uniformly distributed load acting on the overhanging portion of the beam, which is 2 meter. In the mid, or we can say the simply supported portion of the beam is 4 meter. So overall length of the beam is 6 meter, which is 4 plus 2 meter, 6 meter. Now we have to find out first the support reactions at A and at B. So let's consider that these both support reactions are acting in upward direction RA and RB. We have to find out first these support reactions and then we have to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. So to find out these support reactions RA and RB, let's use the equilibrium equation that let's suppose summation of moment at any point equal to zero and let we assume that summation of moment at point b equal to zero at this point all the moment equal to zero and let's suppose clockwise moment is taken is positive and the anti-clockwise moment is taken is negative so all the forces that creates a moment upon point, about point b will be taken is now so r a is the first reaction and it creates a moment about point B in the clockwise direction. In the clockwise direction, so it will be taken as positive. So RA is the force multiplying it with the moment term because moment is equal to the force multiplying with the moment term. So RA is the force here and moment term is the distance, perpendicular distance from the point of load here up to the distance where you want to find out the moment. From here up to here, this is our moment arm, which is 4 meter. Now the other forces that creates a moment about point B is this 3 kN per meter, which is a distributed load. And this load, if we look to this load, it is acting in downward direction. So this will create moment about point B also in the clockwise direction because it is acting downward. So it is also in clockwise direction. So again, positive plus it is a uniformly distributed load, so 3 multiplying it with the 2, 2y because it is distributed over the length of 2 meter and multiplying it with the moment arm. Now moment arm, this load will act at the center of this load span. So 2 meter is the total length on which it is, it is distributed, so it will act at 1 meter from this end. 1 meter and 1 meter. So this load will act at the mid span of the overhanging, overhanging beam, overhanging portion, so 3 into 2 multiplying it with the 1 because this moment, this distance we are interested, this force will produce the moment in this direction, so the moment arm will be from this point load up to the B which is 1 meter, that's why I wrote it 1. So 3 is the load distributed over the 2 meter length and the moment arm is 1 meter. So this both are the forces and this is only the momentum. So now this is, these are all this summation of moments about point B equal to zero. Now for RA, if I simplify this equation, so if I shift and multiply this value, so it will become minus six. So RA comes out to be minus six by four, or we can say minus 1.5 kilonewton. Now, what does this minus sign shows? It means that our assumed direction was wrong and we have to change our sign direction here. So now our sign will be in downward direction. It means that it is now 1.5 kN but in downward direction because our assumed direction was positive and we did, and we did some calculation and we got our result in negative. That means that we have to change our sign direction, change the force direction which was before before it was upward so now we change the direction if we got positive sign then there is no need to change the sign direction so this was the first ra now to find out rb we can use this equilibrium equation summation of all the vertical forces equal to zero upward forces are taken as positive and the downward forces are taken as negative the upward forces are ra and rb these are upward forces so sorry RA is downward force, so it will be taken as negative here because it is negative. So minus RA and again the upward force is RB, so plus RB 
minus again because this force is again downward this 3 kN per meter with 3 multiplying it with the 2 because it is distributed over the 2 meter length summation of all the vertical force is equal to 0 now we know that Ra is 1.5 so if I shift this value to the right side in this will also so it will become positive so we will get Rb equal to Ra plus this 3 into 2 equal to 6 so Rb comes out to be we know that Ra is 1.5 so we got here Rb equal to 7.5 kN. So if I remove all these values, all these things, and I got here Rb equal to 7.5 kN. And this is in upward direction because there is no such negative sign. So the sign assumption which was in upward direction is right. Now to draw the shear force in bending moment diagram for this case, for the support reactions and for the simple in this overhanging beam so here this was acting downward minus 1 sorry 1.5 1.5 kilonewton and this was acting in upward direction with a magnitude of 7.5 kilonewton support reaction at B point now to draw the shear force in bending moment diagram what I have to do I have to draw the reference lines first these are the reference lines here for the shear force diagram and here for the bending moment diagram so if I change the color so now if this is a shear force in the unit of kilonewton and this is for the bending moment diagram in the unit of kilonewton meter so these are the reference lines 0 0 so, so 1.5 kN is acting downward. So I will bring this to 1.5 downward. And then there is no load on the beam. You can see here. So then there is no load on the beam. So it will be a straight line. And then there is upward reaction of 7.5 kN. So this is acting in upward direction. And this was acting in downward direction. So what we have to do here. 1.5 was acting in downward direction so it will be negative and 7.5 was acting in upward direction so we will add in subtract we got here 6 this was in upward direction and this was in negative in downward direction so we got 6 so it means we will go up to the unit of plus 6 here now this is plus 6 now this load is acting again downward which is magnitude of 3 kN per meter so 6 is here in upward direction and this 3 kN per meter is downward direction over the magnitude of 2 over the length of 2 meter so again in downward direction so minus 3 multiply with the 2 so 6 minus 3 into 2 also 6 we got 0 so it means this brings the shear force diagram equal to 0 at this point so this is our positive shear force and this is our negative sh shear force. Now with the help of shear force, we will draw our bending moment diagram. So we will find the area of the shear force, this one and also this one. So we will get our bending moment diagram. So let's consider this is the first shear box, A1. So to find out the area, this is a rectangle. We can see the height and the length. The height is 1.5 minus 1.5 multiplying it with the length, which is 4 meter. So we get here minus 6. So area we got is minus 6 because it is negative shear. So we will have negative bending moment. So starting from this point at 0 because there is no fixed support. So it cannot take any moment. That's why the moment will be 0 here. And it will be like in this way. It will be linear line. Remember that it will be a linear line here. So So this is minus 6 kN meter is the moment value at this point because with the area of the rectangle was minus 6. Now the area of this triangle now to find out the area of this triangle which is area A2 it will be equal to the half base into height which is the triangle area. Now half base is this which is 2 meter you can see here 2 meter base is 2 into height is 6 meter. 
So 2, 2 is cancelled equal to 6. So we have plus 6 because shear force is positive. So the move area is also positive. So it means plus 6 is the, is the movement value at this point. So minus 6 and plus 6. What we got? We got 0. So it means the movement value here at this point comes out to be 0. So this is the bending moment diagram for this overhanging portion of the beam. It only load at the overhanging portion of the beam. Hope you guys understand how to find out the support reactions to draw the shear force diagram into bending moment diagram. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily seven engineering videos.